Hey guys, we are here in my trophy lodge and today we're gonna do an updated trophy lodge tour. Now I'm gonna quickly go through all of my lodges and show you most of the trophies. Let me know in the comments guys, which of my trophies is your very favorite and your very best trophy to date. I would love to know. We're gonna head straight into it. All right, so first of all, we have right here an albino cape buffalo. He is a silver, I remember getting him not that long ago, and I just got this guy, and he is an albino wildebeest. It is a female. I have never gotten a male albino wildebeest. And this guy, I just got him in January. Took him with the recurve, and he is a max weight brown cape. What a beast. Then over here, we do have a nice collection of pronghorn. I think I have five diamond pronghorn, I have a piebald, and a leucistic, and then over here I have a nice gold albino, and I do have a silver. You're gonna see a lot of mountain lions in here. Mountain lions are definitely common diamonds. Then we have a piebald Rocky Mountain Elk, and look at the date closely on these mountain goats. March 24th, 2022, so that was a year ago, but look at the time. 1712 and 1713. These two mountain goats were in the exact same zone. I couldn't believe my eyes. That's actually in a YouTube short and I know this shouldn't be here I have a goose this is my Silver Ridge Peaks mixed with Savannah Lodge we have a diamond light brown turkey here just got this guy he is a dark brown and a lot of people actually didn't realize that dark brown lions are rare they are definitely rare he was just a level five and I actually really like this leucistic Rio Grande turkey. I need to replace the other one because I do have quite a few diamond turkeys, but light brown turkeys used to be rare. They no longer are. I have only female diamond Gemsbok in here. I do have two male diamonds on Xbox, but none on PC. Then I have a diamond bighorn, another mountain goat, lots of turkeys, diamond lion, 121.7. And this is one of my favorite multi mounts. So we have here my albino gold Cape Buffalo, a level six seven blonde lion and two common females. I do need to do an albino lion grind. That is definitely on the list. Then this guy's a sweet trophy. We have an albino gold plains bison. I have an albino bighorn sheep, just a female. Wildebeest are definitely common diamonds. You always want to shoot those level fours that go up to 290 kilograms. They do often make diamond. You will find way more diamonds that way than looking for level fives. But of course, if you find a five, definitely shoot it. And more more mountain lions. <laughs> now I have my rare mountain lions over here. I've done much better with mellas than albinos. This guy's a gold, 36.2. Then we have a silver albino, another gold mella, 37, and another silver albino. Ah, I just can't get gold albinos. <laughs> but we've done pretty well, not too bad. Then in here I have my Rocky Mountain Elk. This is my biggest one, 500.6. He's a big boy. And then I have three more on the wall and they're all 495, 495, and 496. And then I have another piebald here. We do have a gold. Now I have a pretty sweet collection of mule deer. The only thing I'm missing is a really nice melanistic. So we're definitely gonna have to grind for those one of these days. But this is a patchy piebald. Then we have a regular piebald. I think I like this variation better. Which one do you like better, guys? There's my albino, pretty nice dilute. That's a troll. And I have four diamonds in here. This is my my favorite rack of all of them. He's a 324. I like him way better than this Max Waiter here. And this one actually didn't have that rack when I shot him. It was inverted, I believe. And then another Diamond Lion. I love this rack too. He's a 323. And then I have another Max Waiter. 338.8 is a very big muley. But look at this. That's actually a troll. Look at the rack on that. And a couple of Max Weight Black Bears. And that was from before Black Bears were ever a great one. And they are 23.9 and 24. Okay, in this lodge, we have my troll trophies from Te Awaroa as well as Leighton Lakes. So I have a multi-mount here for fallow deer. I do love the melas. I actually got two level three melanistics in the same week off of my own maps. One came off of Hirschfelden, the other came off of Te Awaroa, and I haven't seen a melanistic since. But I would actually like to see fallow deer as the next great one. Can you imagine the racks on a great one fallow deer? What would you guys like to see as the next great one? This is your once a video friendly reminder to hit that like button if you are enjoying the video so far. Thanks so much guys. Now I have been putting my extra moose in this lodge because my main moose lodge is full. If you can believe it, this is a diamond feral goat. He was a level four. I can't even get fives to make it and I found a level four diamond. Pretty nuts. This is a sweet little 
little trophy. This is a leucistic gold caper cali. And I have three diamond feral pigs here. I actually have four. I'm not sure where the other one went. And I have a nice collection of ducks up here with a gold albino harlequin right in the middle. Looks like I put some quattro trophies in here too. I have a besiege. I actually have a few of them. Got a couple of melanistic chamois and some diamond Iberian mouflon. And I have, I believe, three diamond Roosevelt elks in here. They are so beautiful. I just need to hunt more in Leighton Lakes. And I did get an albino. Oh man, I love him. He's just a silver, but I actually found him on the Renaki River on my own map. Took him with the bow. Now I do love the mixed feral goats. They're my favorite fur type. I'd love to find a much bigger one. And this guy is a black. He's not very big, but black is the equivalent of melanistic for feral goats. There's a diamond Diamond. I don't have too many feral goat diamonds. Mostly trolls. I have, I believe, over 20 trolls. Diamond red deer. This is one of my favorite multi mounts. These are my three piebald roe deer. I actually have a really tiny one. There's a bronze. We have a silver and we have a gold. I just think the piebald roe deer are so beautiful. And I have a diamond gray wolf, a couple of diamond Canadian geese. I also need to go through these lodges and put the rifles on the wall. But yeah, I've been putting the excess moose from my moose grind in this lodge. This is the mocha moose from the Teoroa missions. Piebald moose. I actually have killed over 6,000 bull moose since the beginning of September and I have not been able to get a piebald moose bigger than 215. So that is a goal for our next moose grind in the New England mountains. Okay, so now we're in my whitetail grind lodge and this is my only great one whitetail. We are working on a second one right now in Revon Thule. He actually took me 7,300 kills. That grind traumatized me so much. I didn't touch whitetail for the next year and a half. If you think I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> I killed 2,800 in Leighton and then Whitetail broke and then we went to Rancho when Rancho came out and killed 4,576 more before this guy showed up. I was in shock when he spawned, but that original Leighton and Rancho grind was so rough. I actually, at three weeks before my Whitetail Great One spawned, I had spawned 37 different rares, not a single gold. My first gold rare was a piebald and it spawned three weeks before my Great One spawned. We grinded Whitetail from January to September. Now that I have been using herd management, Revon Thule has been much kinder to me. This is my first all gold rare Whitetail multi-mount and I just love it. I have a 226 melanistic here, a 225 pie and a 219. Much, much better. Now I haven't been as lucky with the albinos. I have two silvers here. So we are looking to spawn a gold or diamond albino whitetail. That would be amazing. But this guy is actually my biggest whitetail to date. If you watched my video from yesterday where I botched a monster whitetail with the recurve, I'm, not, I'm still not convinced that that shot should have been good, but that's all right. He was a 274.3, almost my biggest. He was my second biggest in two years. So that title was no clickbait, that's for sure. This guy's also a big boy, 272 and 273. These are all diamonds. There are some rares as well. All these diamonds came from Leighton Lakes and the diamonds in the back here came from Rancho Del Arroyo. And if you can believe it, in that grind, I spawned one albino and with an update, it turned into a piebald and it was a silver. So I ended up with no albinos, but I do have two now. But I haven't counted them, but I do have over a hundred diamond whitetail in this lodge. Now, if you're wondering why I only have racks up here, it's because an update a while back changed a bunch of the diamonds into super rares. It says piebald there. If I actually pull him out, he is a super rare, but I didn't shoot him as a super rare. So that's why I am only showing the racks. I don't have a super rare whitetail yet. We are working on that. Okay, now we're in my moose lodge and these are my two great one moose. They didn't spawn spawn one night after the other, but they were shot one night after the other. This guy spawned about three days before Christmas. I didn't shoot him right away because I wasn't sure if he would change fur types in the lodge, so I left him. Scheduled a date in January to shoot him, and the night before we were supposed to shoot him, this guy spawned, so we shot him right away. So this guy is January 13th, and this guy's January 14th, and I don't have a rare for a great one moose yet. We're gonna work on that, but 
I think they look pretty sweet at the door. Now I decided to mix my trophy black bear in with the moose because moose only fit on extra large plaques. There's only so many places you can put them. And yes, this is my great one black bear. I got very lucky on this grind, 850 kills and he showed up and I couldn't believe my eyes. So we don't have an insane amount of diamond black bears because I got so lucky. But these two moose are two of my favorites. They are both melanistic. This guy is a 233.5. I just love him. And this guy's pretty cool too. I love the tines coming up on the front of his rack there. He's a 217.1 and I had no idea he was melanistic until I picked him up. I'm very good at that. <laughs> but I have pretty much every different type of rack for a diamond moose in here. Every plaque has been filled. I have quite a few piebalds, nothing bigger than a 215. That's another something we need to work on. And if you can believe it, I haven't spawned a single albino bull and I've killed over 6,000 moose bulls since September. Not a single albino bull has spawned. So we still have goals. So back here, I have a couple of diamond axis deer. I have a beautiful diamond ring deer and that's another species I would love to see as a great one. Can you imagine the great one racks on a reindeer? Oh yes please. This guy is a gray diamond brown bear. It's a sweet little trophy. I have a diamond red fox here with a diamond white tailed jackrabbit and more bears and moose. And we do have a diamond lynx in here as well. Then we have a piebald coyote here. I do have quite a few of these massive big boy max weight racks. I mean, you kill 6,000 moose, you're gonna get a few. This is my red deer lodge. I have, I think, five melanistics. That's a level seven. And so is this, but unfortunately, I shot him with the 300. <laughs> so we do have to go back to the red deer grind and try to upgrade him. Now I have over a hundred diamond red deer in here. I'm not sure how many. This is my nicest albino and this guy actually didn't spawn during my red deer grind. I got him on opening day or close to opening day for Te Awaroa. And again, I had no idea he was albino until I picked him up. I just picked the biggest one in the dark, shot it and went and picked it up. And that's what I got. And this is actually a big rack troll. So when you see this rack on a nine legendary, don't celebrate quite yet until you pick it up. They can troll you. Lots of red deer. I'm gonna take you down there in just a second. That is my favorite room of all of my lodges. But first, let's have a look at the great one red deer. I have six of them. My very first one took 4,400 kills and I botched it. I took a shot with the arrow and he took a step. So we have a gold. So I kept grinding and we managed to get five more. But throughout all those grinds, my gold was was the biggest one until the last one spawned and lucky for me he is the biggest 270.2 and that actually spawned on the second year anniversary of the channel right as I was shutting down the stream my great ones like to make an entrance that is for sure and this is the world's tiniest piebald fallow okay this is my rares room for red deer now I have piebalds in here from level three all the way up to level nine albinos not so much like I said I don't have the greatest albino luck. I spawned two albinos during my red deer grind. I killed 9,300 red deer stags and spawned two level six albinos and that's it. So we still need to go back and grind more red deer eventually. But this guy is a mythical. I managed to get during this grind two mythicals, I think three level sevens and one nine legendary. This is my nine legendary. Unfortunately, he was a guaranteed troll. So that's one of my super trolls, but he is still a pretty crazy rare. I think he, this guy's a seven and this guy must be an eight. But they don't tell you what level they are in the lodge, so I can't remember. But we have quite a few piebalds in this room. Holy. Okay, so I have a few of my Mississippi trophies in here. We do have a diamond eastern wild turkey. This is my melanistic gator. Love this guy. Love to find a bigger one. We have a diamond gator here and he is a big one. 521.4. And then I have three different piebald gators. Some of them I may have shot too many times, but they didn't get away. Aren't they beautiful? I love the piebalds. They're really cool. Now I have two of these actually, two diamond gray fox. I have a male and a female. Now I did put the female in a multi-mount and I'm not sure where I put her. <laughs> I forget. Click right here guys for the next video that YouTube recommends just for you. Thanks for watching guys and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.